and welcome to the Philip Cockrum channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps the channel to grow and it helps me to bring you these great videos that we all love. So a little Mustang update for you today and a little uh, some tips and tricks to help out some other people that have this problem. So the thing started with the O2 sensor code on the black car here. Uh, it said bank one driver's side. Um, and when I replaced that, um, it didn't work. So when closer inspection, I looked at bank two and on the passenger side and the wire going to the actual sensor was broken right off. So, okay, easy fix, right? But when I went to, so I put in a new sensor on that side and when I went to plug it in, this wire, <laughs> the end of the plug literally broke off from the harness. Well, it was already kind of broken off. Now, the yellow car has exactly the same problem. It broke in exactly the same spot on the same side and I'll kind of show you why here in a second, right? As you can see from the female part of the plug, the wire is only about four inches long here or so. So the plug is mounted to the body right down in there. The issue comes, I've got some lights over here on this side and some pointers, right? So basically the wiring harness that that is connected to runs runs down the back of the motor and the back of the connection. So it's teed off of the main harness here, right, where I'm pointing, and then comes down to the transmission, okay? So we're basically over top of the back of the transmission here, and then goes down to a couple other sensors. So you see where I'm pointing right, right now, where this tape is, and you can see the wires right there. So that's where that splits off from the harness over to the sensor plug that I just showed you. So that's bank two, sensor one. Okay, so that's where the wire's gotta be spliced back in. I gotta put in a little bit longer one so it's not so tight because basically that little piece of wire, as you can see, is only a few inches long. Okay, oops. And you're in, your transmission is flexing back and forth this plug is fixed to the body so it can't move so it literally just breaks here at the the knuckle of the harness if you want to call it that right so if you've got electrical problems and you've already replaced sensors and so forth and you've still got issues that's going to be the number one place that i would look at look at your grounds and stuff also on your vehicle because all those things will still throw that code even though you've replaced the sensors right. so i hope that helps and uh you know you just have to struggle in that spot there guys because um, there's no other way to do it other than disassembling the majority of the harness to get down in there to loosen it up a little bit right and you're only going to buy maybe an inch or two lifting it up that way um, or disassembling pieces of the plenum there at the back which means a whole bunch of other things you know dropping the transmission out from the bottom i mean those are your other options they're all way way harder than trying to just fiddle down into this tight little spot there so hope that helps people that are trying to chase down these problems and look for where this actual harness connection is and there it is right there guys